Hey everybody, this is Transformatron bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Fifth Harmony's debut album, Reflection. And first off, I gotta say, because my light is slightly bright, um, you're going to be able to see a little bit of my reflection, pun intended, a little bit. So, sorry about that, but I, right now I can't do anything about it. I've tried several places moving, but it's not going to work, so we're just going to have to deal with it. So bear along with me, please. Anyway, so first off, a little bit of background about this album is that it was released on January 30th of 2015. And uh, this one is the deluxe edition. Uh, the So for uh, lengthwise, the regular version would be around 37 minutes, and this version, which is the deluxe version, is around 49 minutes. So there's actually quite a big difference between the, the standard and the deluxe edition length times. Um, the members of Fifth Harmony are Camila Cabello, Lauren Haregi, uh, Normani, Dinah Jane, and Ali Brooke. Uh, that would be Lauren, uh, Dinah Jane, Camila Cabello, Ali Brooke, and Normani. Uh, singles from this album, there are three of them. Uh, the first one was Boss, which was released on July 7th, 2014. Sledgehammer was the second sling slingle. Single released on October 28th, 2014. And Worth It was released as the third and final single from this album on March 2nd, 2015. Um, and uh, Worth It was the album's most successful single, and it was in the top ten in... 13 countries, so it was a very, very successful single, and that's, I can imagine why, because it's a really fun song, upbeat and everything. Um, a difference between the covers, um, the standard edition has uh, this same cover, but it would be in black and white instead of in color, so that. And then um, another little bit of cool information is that um, this was not the actual original cover. Um, as far as I could tell, as what I could find online, this was the original cover. But then I guess fans didn't like it. But I like it a lot better than this one, actually. I think it looks better. Got a nice reflection of their feet on the floor, so I like that better because it actually has something to do with the title. That doesn't... I mean, I'm fine with it, but I would prefer this one just because I think it looks better. But anyway, yeah. So that's something that I didn't know until I was doing a little bit of my research for the album, so that's, I think that's really cool, actually. Unfortunately, they decided to go with this one, but like I said, and it's okay. I mean, they, they can do what they want, or they can, they did what they wanted, so it's, it's fine. It's whatever. I mean, like I said, it's not a bad cover, but I just think the other one goes better with the um, overall theme of the album and the, the title track. So anyway, coming around, so yeah, that's obviously the front. Uh, says Fifth Harmony Reflection. There we go. You can see it. There we go. Fifth Harmony Reflection, if you can see it. My stupid light. There we go. And then coming on to the back, it's it's just plain. It's got some specks of gold in there, and then the numbers and names of the 14 tracks. That's also one thing that I do like, is that it includes the numbers. I hate it when albums do not include the numbers besides the tracks, because then... It, it just, I, it bugs me. I'm a little bit of OCD that way. I'm like, why is he her? Yeah, but it's all right. So that's okay. Anyway, coming around to the inside of the album. Nice. I like that. That's really cool. And then the CD is just black with the um, fifth harmony being in reflective and then reflection in kind of gold. And then there's nothing behind it. So that's a little bit disappointing. But... Yeah, we're taking a quick look at the booklet. Um, it's got the lyrics in it, so that's really nice. I like it when they have the lyrics, because then if I can't tell what they're saying, I can just look in here and be like, oh, that's what they're saying. So that's nice that they have the lyrics. And they have album thank yous from each of the girls separately.
And then, yeah, and then it has the written by. And unfortunately, none of the girls helped write, as far as I could tell, I'm 90%, 99% sure that they didn't help write any of these songs. Because when I watched an interview of them, they said they helped write, like, I think they helped write their fifth, their fifth, wow, well, third album, Fifth Harmony, and then their EP, Better Together. But other than that, they haven't written anything for their albums. So that's a little bit disappointing that they didn't have a hand in crafting this album. But it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's still a really good album. So that's all right. So coming around to the tracks. Um, I like this album. It's a really good album. Um, Top Down, Sledgehammer, Worth It, and um, Brave, Honest, Beautiful are probably up there in my top favorite tracks. Yeah, uh, Top Down's really fun. It's fast. It's a, um, a highway jam one. Boss is another fun one. That's like a little like sassy one, so that's fun. Sledgehammer is fun. It's, it's upbeat. Worth It's a fun one, and it's also a little more edgy in um, what they're talking about. I'm sure y'all already know this, because I'm sure everyone knows this song, at least the chorus. So, yeah, that's also something to take into consideration if you have little children and you want to listen to this album. Just beware that um, that song does talk about a few edgier things, or one edgy thing, I guess, that, yeah, eh, it's still, it's, it's a fun song, and it's upbeat, so, uh, This Is How We Roll is also one of my favorite ones, it's really fun, I love the beat, the beat is, like, really cool, I've never heard anything like it before, ever, so that's a fun one, um, Everlasting Love is okay, it's not my favorite, um, Like Mariah is me, okay, Them Girls Be Like is, is, is a funny one, I'll, I'll give it that, it's not my favorite, but I'll listen to it. it. It's a fun one. Um, reflection is the fun one. <laughs> it's kind of like talking, like, she's talking to herself in the mirror. Be, be like, boy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to my own reflection. So, um, that's, I, that was funny. I laughed when I first heard that because I didn't know what to expect when I first listened to the song. But that's a funny one. Sugar Mama is, uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Uh, we Know is one of the ones that I really like. Um, Going Nowhere is okay. Body Rock is pretty good. And then Brave, Honest, Beautiful is featuring Megan Trainer, And that's also one of my favorite ones on the album. So, yeah, that's a fun song. <sighs> Anyways, um, I would give this album probably 9 out of 10. Um, it's good. Um, I like the way they... Um, blended their voices together and decided who would sing what part and that would that would be so confusing to me like trying to figure out between the five of them which part which one is going to sing and who backs up who and who comes in this time and then who fades out on the first verse and then the another person comes in on the second part of the first verse I think that's cool like that there's so many of them and yet yeah, they sound so good together so yeah um, if you're a fan of Fifth Harmony, I'm sure you already have this album because it was their first album. But if you don't, you should definitely get this album. It's a good album to add to your collection. It's really fun. It's upbeat. And it's one of those ones you can take on a road trip and jam to because it's so long. And a lot of the songs are, like, um, fierce with the, the drums and the whatever other instruments they use in the album. But, yeah, this is a really fun one. So anyway, uh, comment down below and let me know what your favorite songs from this album are. I would love to hear them. Um, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you do end up subscribing, make sure to hit the bell by the subscribe button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.